Extinction in psychology refers to the gradual weakening and eventual disappearance of a conditioned response. This phenomenon occurs when the conditioned stimulus is repeatedly presented without the unconditioned stimulus, leading the conditioned response to diminish over time. Originating from classical conditioning theories by Ivan Pavlov and further developed by B.F. Skinner in operant conditioning, extinction is a fundamental concept in understanding how behaviors are acquired and lost. Here are two examples of extinction. First, consider a dog trained to salivate at the sound of a bell because it has learned to associate the bell with food. If the bell continues to ring but no food follows, the dog will eventually stop salivating in response to the bell. This is extinction in action. Second, think of a child who throws tantrums to get candy. If the parents consistently stop giving candy during tantrums, the child's tantrums will decrease and eventually cease. The behavior extinguishes because the reinforcement is no longer present. Let's look at three benefits of extinction. Firstly, extinction is crucial in therapeutic settings, particularly in treating phobias and anxiety disorders. By gradually exposing individuals to the feared object or situation without any negative consequences, the conditioned fear response diminishes. Secondly, extinction helps in modifying unwanted behaviors. For example, in a classroom setting, a teacher can use extinction by ignoring disruptive behaviors, leading to a reduction in those behaviors. Thirdly, understanding extinction allows for more effective behavior management strategies. By recognizing that certain behaviors can be unlearned, parents, teachers, and therapists can design interventions that promote positive behavior changes over time. Now let's explore three criticisms of extinction. First, extinction can be a slow and challenging process. In many cases, the unwanted behavior may persist for a long time before it finally extinguishes, which can be frustrating for individuals seeking quick results. Second, extinction bursts can occur where the behavior temporarily increases in intensity before it decreases. This can be particularly challenging to manage and might cause individuals to abandon the extinction process prematurely. Third, extinction is not always permanent. Spontaneous recovery, where the extinguished behavior suddenly reappears after a period of no exposure to the conditioned stimulus can undermine the progress made, requiring ongoing and consistent efforts to maintain the behavior change. To learn about other common concepts in psychology, check out the videos on the screen.